Right, so just to uh, talk a bit more about brake lines. Um, here, these are some drawings I did uh, a few years ago. Um, here we have a, an ordinary two unit uh, square knot which um, can be used as a, as a borderline. In the second one I've put a brake line in. So there is a brake line in here, in here, in here and in here etc. So this is changing the pattern quite considerably so you have the these sort of uh, rings going through it. On the next one down I've put the brake lines in horizontally one, miss one, one, miss one, one, miss one, one, miss one etc. which gives a quite a different effect um, here I've linked these two together so we have a vertical brake line like that followed by a horizontal one vertical one horizontal one vertical one horizontal one and then finally um, at the bottom of this one we have um, horizontal one at the top horizontal one at the bottom horizontal at the top horizontal at the bottom so you can see those patterns uh, uh, vary quite a lot simply by the way the brake lines are placed on the grid. Now you will remember, I'll just put this next one up, that uh, I showed you the 3x3 uh, three three unit knot which I, I'm, I'm very fond of, just an ordinary 3x3 three three unit knot. I've emphasised here the edge of it which helps to fill the over and unders and I've done a lot of shading on it to help it. That is a, a plain and simple 3x3 um, three three unit knot. Now these underneath it, six underneath it, are experimenting with the addition of brake lines. So on the 3x3 three three unit grid, on this one, one there, one there, one there one there. In this one there's an L shape going in there and the same on the other side. In here it's just one, two, three, four. In here um, I guess it's another, I think that's the same as that isn't it, only the other way around. Anyway, <coughs> so um, and in here it's simply um, one in the middle, very similar to the 4x4 four four that uh, I showed you before. This one, <coughs> two short ones in the middle. Uh, there's another <coughs> another one here, which I did. <coughs> in this one, I've, I've Obviously, this is the same uh, three by three grid, just twisted round. Um, I, I put four brake lines in the middle of that three by three grid to take out the centre, and uh, so essentially, I've got a border pattern really in a three by three unit, and then I put that in as a decorative device. On the bottom ones, uh, this one has got. Uh, two just two short ones coming in from the sides here we've got crossed brake lines in the middle which gives this interesting sort of chain link effect and here we've got two sort of long ones coming in from the sides there so this just gives an example without me having to draw them all out for you um, of what is possible with with brake lines so the thing to do is to experiment you can get quite a lot just out of a 3x3 three three unit grid so anything bigger than that you can the sky's the limit so that is uh, brake lines <laughs>